On Friday, July 19th, a massive global tech failure left thousands of users staring at the infamous blue screen of death. From banks and airlines to television networks and health systems, the impact was widespread and severe. Thousands of flights and train services were canceled globally, including more than 1,800 in the U.S., and there were disruptions to many other public and retail services. Users across social media shared screenshots of their PCs showing a blue screen with the message, it looks like Windows didn't load correctly. If you'd like to restart and try again, choose Restart My PC below. So what caused this global meltdown? CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity firm providing antivirus software to Microsoft, released an update early Friday morning that led to catastrophic operating system crashes. According to an official statement from CrowdStrike, their Falcon sensor update caused the issue, leading to bug checks and blue screen errors. CrowdStrike's engineering teams quickly identified the problem and began working on a fix. Microsoft confirmed the issue was linked to the CrowdStrike update and assured that mitigation actions were underway. In a statement to CBS News, Microsoft said, Earlier today, a CrowdStrike update was responsible for bringing down a number of IT systems globally. The immediate impact was felt globally. Airports faced long lines as check-in systems failed and flights were delayed or canceled. In the U.S. alone, over 3,000 flights were canceled, and globally, more than 42,000 flights were delayed. Hospitals were also hit hard. Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston had to cancel surgeries and revert to paper charting, delaying critical medical services. Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City postponed all procedures requiring anesthesia against issues, and in India, Delhi's primary airport operated manually with gate information updated by hand. The London Stock Exchange and New York Stock Exchange reported minor disruptions, but trading continued. Starbucks and FedEx also faced issues, with Starbucks mobile ordering features affected and FedEx activating contingency plans for potential delivery delays. CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz apologized for the disruption and promised full transparency. The company stated that a fix had been implemented, but many systems required manual intervention to recover fully. CyberArk's chief information officer, Omer Grossman, explained that the issue with endpoint detection and response products meant that many systems needed manual fixes, making the recovery process time-consuming. CrowdStrike acknowledged that some systems may not fully recover and that they were working individually with customers to ensure full operational restoration. This incident underscores the fragility of our interconnected world and the critical role of cybersecurity.